People said, Guess what? They did. <laughs> Technology is good, but it also fails at times. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Wasn't that wonderful? These are the days of Elijah. Do you agree with me this morning? Amen. It's time for a word of God to come forth in the land, to be birthed in the hearts of people throughout this land and this nation of ours. And throughout our churches, it's time for resurrection, it's time for new life, it's time for a new zeal and a new sense of determination in our lives as God's people. Are you glad to be in God's house this morning? Say amen. 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 Turn with me in your Bibles to the book of Isaiah, chapter 55. One of, my, one of my favorite Old Testament books, the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 55. I'm going to read this entire 55th chapter. The words are so powerful. Hear the word of the Lord now. Ho, everyone who's thirst, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Yes, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread? and your wages for what does not satisfy. Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear, and come to me. Listen, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, the sure mercies of David. Indeed, I have given him as a witness to the people, a leader and commander for the people. Surely you shall call a nation you do not know, and nations who do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God. Oh, America, listen to that. 